uh, the company's tribunal just signed a collaboration framework with the University of Pretoria. The reason why we chose the University of Pretoria is because our collaboration started some years back when we had a seminar with them and then furthermore we even had uh, the guest lecture and then we thought it is prudent that we now need to put this on paper. The reason why we chose that university is based on their research on uh, the, in the field of company law and then the benefit on the side of the company's tribunal will actually be on the amendment of the legislation because we are currently busy with the Department of Trade, Industry and Competition to amend some of the uh, sections of the company's act to actually give the tribunal a broader mandate. Our collaboration will focus on the areas such as uh, public engagement, uh, which will actually help the tribunal to reach out to those that actually need the tribunal the most in terms of uh, their dispute regarding their companies. And then on the other area, then we'll be having the guest lectures where we'll actually engage with students from time to time in order to inculcate the understanding and the knowledge of the company law so that we actually invest in the future so that most people uh, can have interest in this field because that's where we need those people as the company's tribunal. Our mandate actually requires one that is actually a specialist in the field of company law. Hence, we actually anticipated that the University of Pretoria will be a vehicle that will actually assist the company's tribunal to reach uh, that milestone. For us as the Department of Mercantile Law in the University of Pretoria, uh, this collaboration was very important and it remains important because it touches on four important areas of our mandate, which is teaching, research, academic citizenship, and community engagement. What we have discussed today, as reflected in the documents we signed, uh, touches on all these areas where we will be able to enhance our teaching, expose our students to more information that they were exposed to previously. We will be able to conduct more research through information sharing and exchange with members of the company's tribunal. As part of this collaboration, we will be able to travel the country, its length and breadth, share our information, educate society, and make sure that they are fully aware of the mandate of the company's tribunal, as well as the work that we do as the Department of Mercantile Law in the University of Pretoria. Signing of this collaboration agreement between the Faculty of Law at the University of Pretoria, Department of Mercantile Law and the company's tribunal is very significant. I'm very excited about this. This will mean that we will be collaborate, collaborating in research, also in regard to guest lectures for undergrad students, postgraduate students, and then also roadshows in order to, um, to visit communities, also to inform them about the company's tribunal. Community engagement is very important for the faculty. We are honoured that we have been chosen as a partner in this collaboration and we trust that this will go from strength to strength and that um, not only the university but also the community and the students will benefit a lot from this collaboration. We are, we are truly privileged to have the company's um, tribunal on board and we are looking forward to a very, very fruitful collaboration. This will give us an opportunity on various levels to expose our undergraduate and postgraduate students to the practical aspects of company law. It will also expose our students to the functions of the company's tribunal, also provide a platform for our students to engage the community relating on company law issues. Further, this is also a great opportunity to present our impactful research in which we can assist the company's tribunal to in influence legisl legislative reform. For example, we've already identified that we can make important contributions in the aspects of disputes relating to business rescue and shareholder remedies. We are really looking forward in making the most of this valuable opportunity.